is up guys, it's Creepstar Gamer here and today um, I'm doing something a little different. Um, I'm gonna start a new series on my channel. It's called Gaming Reviews. I, that's at least what I'm calling it for now. And it's where I review stuff that has to do with gaming. Usually it's gonna be under fifty dollars. And so far I only have two things to review, but I'm only reviewing one thing in today. In the next episode, I'm going to re be reviewing a controller. But, about a year ago on my channel, I did an unboxing video on these headphones, these $20 headphones called Quotation Etch or Each headphones. And they served me well for about a year until an incident happened that was more my fault than the headphones. And I'll get into that later. But right now, um, I'm going to do my best to do this review. I've never really done a review before. And right now, I don't have anywhere else to do the review other than my bed. So you're going to have to ignore this kind of stuff. Um, I'll just go ahead, I'll pull the sheet down real quick. And with the magic of editing. Alright. And uh, I should have done that right. Um, now it should be a much cleaner view for the headphones. I'm going to actually pull the camera back just kind of like right there. So, anyways, let's get into the review. We are back. He just wanted to know if we, um, if we could record a video together and I told him to let me finish this up. Anyways, um, at, since I just talked about the incident that happened over there, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the pro and cons of the headphones. Let's get to it. Alright, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start out with a pro, then I'm going to go to a con to kind of balance it out. Then I'm going to go to a pro again, then go to another con. So anyways, one of the pros that I really like about it is the fact that it's LED. Essentially mean if I take my little USB power brick here and plug them in, they light up. Now if you can see, they look really cool. Like when they're lit up and stuff. One of the cons about the LED is that I wish this thing lit up too because in the pictures they had this thing lit up. This does not light up whatsoever. In fact, this has actually fell apart before. There are no LEDs in this whatsoever. So, another, that would be the con to the, like, you see where I'm going. One thing, another pro is, I'll just leave it plugged in, is this microphone right here. It's really nice. It actually sounds really good. It's better than the one I'm using right now. And it folds up like this, which in my opinion looks really good. The, really the con about it this is more less a this is more preference than a con. You see how it's split off into two cables. I really wish it was integrated into one cable. Um, because you see, it's different, but if I take this cable, for example, you see, it. this has a microphone in it, and this is only integrated into one cable. That, another thing is, you can, this is just a bonus, you can turn the microphone on and off, which is nice. And this is probably going to be the the final two pro and cons. This next one is the fact the pro is these headphones sound surprisingly well for 20 bucks. I'm talking like you could compare these to a good $100 pair of headphones. But the con is they're really heavy. Like they come in 
at almost a full pound. Like, they're really hefty and they're really durable. But that's really not good. And I wish you could, like, fold them or something over. Because, you mean, you can't really do more than this. Like, they, they flex a little bit, but not to the point to where it's like... It's not doing anything major. But... Yeah, and the next pro doesn't really have a con to go with it, but at the same time it does. It's the fact that it has, like, it, they, it, they, it claims to be a 3 meter cable or about, about, like, like 6 feet if you use the Imperial system. But... Here would be the semicon to go with it, which would be how they split it off right here. This is more like how they split it off is really, really kind of not real the best way to do it. And as you can see, the microphone cable just completely ripped out. Um, it's holding on by the threads. It's not connected anymore. So which that would be the con to it but that would be the pros and cons to this headphone they sound really good they get really loud you can adjust the volume from this they there was advertised to be a play and pause button in here you can hear it clicks too like there is if I can get it to it's only right here See, it clicks like there's a button, and there is a button in there, but it doesn't work. Like, they put it in there, but it doesn't work for some reason. Um, like, I, like, that was one of the things, main reasons why I bought these headphones was for that button, because I had a head pair of earbuds before that that was similar, and had the same type of play pause button ish and they plugged into my phone through this cable that same type of cable but it wasn't but that doesn't but it did and it controlled it like play it would play and pause it too this one doesn't for some reason um would recommend this head I would give this headphones these headphones a decent 7 out of 10 for 20 bucks cuz keep in mind you got to keep in mind that these headphones are under 20 bucks they're like 18 they're like 18 dollars um and unfortunately they no longer sell them so it's no longer you can no longer buy them but I will leave the link in the description to the Amazon page where I bought them but in the U.S. you cannot buy them anymore. Um, you can still buy... The brand still makes headphones, but they're not this type. Um, and it looks like the new pair does actually... Like, there's like a Generation 2 out now, I guess. And it looks very similar, other than you can take the microphone off. This unplugs. Well, it actually doesn't unplug from here. It unplugs from here. And this is much more reinforced. That is a huge pro for me. Um, the next, um, I would definitely buy these again. But since I am going to go ahead and just, like, invest into more professional equipment, I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to get a pair of Logitech 7.51s, I think they're called which are basically what these are based off of and I'll link those in the description if you want to go check them out it's it's really like that I prefer would prefer the Logitech over these even though the Logitech is 40 bucks these are more than half the price less than half the price of that and realistically if you don't have 40 bucks to spend on a pair of headphones but you do have 20, I would definitely get these because these are really, 
I would recommend these. Things that about them that I per that me personally don't care for, such as the chrome finish. Um, I love chrome. Um, yes, I love the web browser chrome, but I also like the color chrome. But just not on the headphones. If you look, it's like doesn't. This one's all right, but. This, I'm not a fan of. If it was just solid black or blue, that would have been, that would have been fine. Then, at least, they could have matched this by making this piece down here where the microphone connects into chrome. But, there's no chrome on this side but this. But, I mean, other than those little minor things, I really like the pair of headphones. Unfortunately, I do have to retire them because the cords are coming out. And it like I said, it was more my fault than the headphones. Although they was the USB part was kind of already starting to come out, but it didn't. But then I tripped on it and that was pretty much it for the rest of the cables. Um they still play music, but as you can see from what I was showing you a minute ago, um, the microphone cable is no longer connected. Um, so the microphone does not work. I, I'll go get um, Halo's pair because he has a pair just like it. I'll run and get those if he hasn't brought them to where he was going because he went with our mom to work today. And I'm not sure if he brought them. I bet he did. But if he didn't, I'll go get them so you can see the red. Okay, this is, oh, and uh, we have visitor now. Anyways, this is what the red looks like. Personally, I prefer the lighting on the red better because it's more, like, aggressive. Kitty, if you rub on this camera. Okay. She better not play with those cords over there because I need those. Anyways, like, this is what the red pair look like. If you wanted to know. It's exactly the same. The same braided cable. Um, and there's, here's how, how they pronounce it if you want to go ahead and read it. It's like quotation each is how it's spelled. But it's like said etch or something when you translate it. Anyways, um, Since it does have this type of cable, we would have to use a cable like this to, for, so it can turn it in to the cable like that. So like, you plug the headphones into the headphone part and the microphone into the microphone part if you want to use it on our mine or his tablet for example. Unfortunately, I don't know where, where my cable where my adapter went. He has an adapter and I got one. But like I go ahead like I don't know where my went. Bonus, listen to the microphone. Can you hear it moving? I'm not sure if you can. But I'll, I'll let you listen to mine, too. I'm sure you heard that. Um, that's one of the things I'm not a big fan of. Like, I prefer the clickiness. Like, um, well, what I mean is I prefer the, how the microphone sounds putting it up and down. On this one, on the other hand, it's completely silent. You really can't hear it. But on the blue pair, you can, like it, like, like a mouse scroll wheel. It kind of latches a little bit. I swear my pets try to ruin all of my videos. So, anyways, all these headphones have served. Th those headphones have served me well, and. I would definitely recommend them again, and I would definitely buy them again, but since I do have the money to just go ahead and get the Logitech, I'm just going to go ahead and get the Logitech. So, anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And it's been and I'm out.